so let's go March 3rd. And in particular, I want to take a look at some logs. Okay, so I don't know if you remember all those formulas that I gave you in pre-calc that said memorize these because then these are equivalent things concerning logs. But And I wrote them last year with the LOG log. We're going to obviously be using natural log in calc because you just saw like the lesson the other day was an all natural log stuff. Okay, so it's natural log. But it doesn't matter whether I write it with an LOG or an LN, the rules still are the same. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do them this year with a natural log. Now let's do it with the LOG and then I'll show you how it'll work. <clears throat> All right, so let's suppose I had, let's do this one, a number B raised to a log of X base B. <clears throat> All right, and we looked at this last year and we said, okay, the base on the log was a B and then this is a base raised to an exponent. So when those bases matched, then the answer was just x, all right? And you probably don't remember that. I mean, I told you that last year we used it when we were in that chapter, and you probably haven't done it since then, so you have no clue. You don't remember that, all right? Now, the deal is, though, the base on the log and the base here, because this is a base being raised to an exponent, is what allows me to do that, and I could mathematically work it out. I'm going to get x, but we memorize that so it's fast and convenient, okay? Now, if I know that, then if I did something like, as an example underneath that, if I did an e raised to the natural log of x, e raised to the natural log of x. Now, does that look like the exact same thing? <coughs> I got a base e raised to an exponent. Now, on that log right there, do we remember what the base is on that log? an E. So that means this, even though it's with a natural log, is the exact same thing as this. So this simplifies to an X. And so what they're going to expect you to do, if they do any type of, say, taking the derivative of an integral, if they do anything like that, or anything with a regular integral, a, a um, definite integral, and you're going to have to plug things in, maybe one of the limits was an e raised to the natural log of x. They're going to want you to be able to simplify down with all these different types of log rules. Okay, So if you know that, then great. It's going to help you get to the end. If you don't know that, then it creates a tad bit of a problem. All right, I'm going to just try to make up. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's try to make up a problem here. Let's say that <clears throat> I want to do a d dx. So let's do the derivative of an integral problem. Let's make this a 1. Let's make this a um, natural log of x should work. And then let's make this a e raised to the t all over a t dt. I think this is going to work. <clears throat> okay, so do we remember this as second fundamental theorem of calculus, right? Taking the derivative of the integral means what? We take the top, plug it in, multiply by the derivative, subtract by taking one, plug it in, then take the derivative of one. So with this a constant, it's going to pull out, drop off that whole second part. All right, so let's start this and see what happens. All right, so I'm going to go e, plug in, natural log of x, all over natural log of x. All right, so I've plugged it in times the derivative, so I'm going to use my ddx notation, so ddx of the natural log of x minus, plug in a 1, so e to the first all over 1 times the derivative of 1, ddx of 1, which is going to be 0, right? So then, since this is 0, this whole thing falls out. All right, now, derivative of natural log of x u prime over u, right? I'm not going to do anything with this yet. Derivative of this is u prime over u, so derivative of x is 1 over x. Okay? Now, <clears throat> if you don't know that this is x, 
then you would have something that's going to be really nasty. You're never going to get to the final answer. <clears throat> because you can't leave it like that. They're not, you're not going to get points for that. I wrote that kind of crooked. All right, so this is where things that were pre-knowledge, pre-calc knowledge, you've got to go, oh, this is equivalent to x. So and then if I have an x on top over a natural log of x times a 1 over an x, those x's are going to cross out. That's going to give me a final answer of 1 over natural log of x. Okay, now the other thing is if this is a free response question, you're just going to do with whatever you think, and then if you didn't know this, you might possibly stop here, which is going to create a problem because you won't get all the points. All right, but what if this was a multiple choice question and this is, answer wasn't there? That might make you think, oh, i got to do something to it. It's either going to make you think, oh, I did it wrong because I just worked it out the way I think I'm supposed to, and the answer's not there. All right, or the next thing you need to think is, oh, I've worked it out. I'm pretty confident that I did it right, so now I just have to figure out how to manipulate this algebraically to get one of the choices of their multiple choice answers. <clears throat>